Scooby-Doo. In addition, mystery. The Case of the Angry Adder by Mark Weakland. Illustrated by Scott Gross. Crystal Cove had a problem. A snake problem. Snakes were mysteriously appearing in the most unlikely places. Two showed up in the library. One slithered through the supermarket. One coiled in little Tyrone's sandbox. The ghost in the purple cape had struck again. Mayor Jones was not happy. Two plus one plus one. Put them together and you get four. It's simple addition. Very good, Mr. Mayor. You could also say two plus two equals four. Add the other snakes from around town, and we have a mystery on our hands. I'm calling Scooby and the gang. The gang was busy watching the Wild Animal Show with Guy Farrell. The show had been filmed in Crystal Cove. Just then, the phone rang. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy took the call. Rakes? That's right! Snakes! And a ghost in a purple cape, too! Time to investigate! Let's go! Let's spread out. There are five of us. Let's say two can go to the west end of town. The others can go to the east end. Two plus three equals five. It adds up. Or you could say three plus two equals five. When we meet in the middle, we'll be a gang of five again. Looks like it's you and me, Scoob. Velma, Fred, and Daphne walked the streets looking for clues. At the playground, Fred found snakes on the swings and on the seesaw. I see five snakes here, and another five snakes on the swings. Five plus five equals ten. Add five more from this slide, and you get fifteen. And there are five snakes here, too. Five plus five plus five plus five equals twenty. That's twenty snakes in all. Or, we can just count up by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's a lot of snakes. Meanwhile, Scooby and Shaggy had stopped at Dave's Snack Shack. Our security camera got video of the ghost, said Dave. Take a look. Scooby and Shaggy saw a ghost slinking through the store. It put two snakes on the shelves. Then the ghost added two snakes. Finally, it added six more. Two plus two plus six equals ten snakes, Scoob, said Shaggy. Ten rakes, said Scooby. That does add up to ten, said Dave. We also found this strange note. Dave showed the note to Scooby and Shaggy. Rangry Ratter, cried Scooby. You got that right, said Dave. No, yelled Shaggy, pointing out the window. He means he sees the angry adder, and he's right outside. Scooby and Shaggy bolted out the door. The angry adder turned in a swirl of purple and ran. Stop! Follow that creep, Scoob! At the park, Fred, Velma, and Daphne were setting a trap. 
The adder put ten snakes on that bench, said Fred. We'll add ten fake snakes here and ten more over there, said Velma. That's three tens. Ten plus ten plus ten equals thirty. Ten, twenty, thirty. Counting by tens is easy. When the adder sees the extra snakes, he'll be confused, said Fred. When he stops to figure it out, we'll catch him. The gang hid and waited. Suddenly, the adder burst into the open. He skidded to a stop when he saw the extra snakes. What? he hissed. Where did all these snakes come from? The adder began counting. Just then, Scooby and Shaggy showed up. Pull! Fred pulled the rope. The net closed. Hey, said Dave. It's Guy Farrell from the Wild Animal Show. I don't like snakes, and I don't like this town, snarled Guy. I was filming here when a snake bit my big toe. I wanted to give snakes in this town a bad name. You meddling kids and your dog stopped me. Scooby and the gang solved the mystery, said the mayor. I'll treat you all to snacks at the snack shack. Scooby-Rooby-Roo!